Hey what is up guys, my name is Kev5 and welcome to a new plugin tutorial. Today we're going to be covering the plugin Auto Rank, a plugin that allows you to fully customize how players rank up and it allows players to rank up automatically without having to type any rank up command or anything. You can have it rank up a player such as whenever they break 10 iron ore blocks, they must be in a specific world to rank up, they need a certain amount of money to rank up, they need to be a certain rank to rank up, and they need to be on the server for a certain time to rank up. Now, this is the plugins page right here. This plugin does require a secondary plugin stats, so must so both auto rank and stats must be installed in order for auto rank to work on your latest versions of your server. So, we're going to go ahead and just jump right into it. If you want to explore the plugins page, it pretty much tells you every feature with the plugin. Uh, what things that the plugin can check to determine when to rank up a player, and more. So, whenever you first install this plugin to your server, you're going to ensure you install it in your plugins folder. Upon restarting your server, it'll generate an auto rank folder, and inside will be all of these. Now, if you want to really go simple, there is the simple config. This allows you to configure only time. So, for example, I uh, guessed. Uh, if a guest is on for an hour, they become a member. If a member is on for five days, they become VIP. Uh, but we're not going to be going simple today. No. In fact, we're going to be going hardcore. Or more like advanced. So the first thing you're going to want to do is go into your settings.yml and you're going to want to set this setting to true. Now why? Right now the plugin uses the simple config by default and while some people may want it so it ranks up players after a certain amount of time, we want to go more advanced with the plugin. We want to allow it to rank up a player with very specific things. So we're going to go ahead and use the advanced config.yml. Now we're going to go ahead and go into the advanced config.yml and check it out. So as you can see here, it may look very confusing at first. It's very understandable. There's a lot going on, uh, and at the same time, there's not a lot going on. So I'm going to go ahead and explain this. So you have your ranks here, and this is each rank on your server. You have guest and member are currently set up. Uh, VIP is not set up even though it's part of the default configuration. Uh, the reason for that is you only need to set up a rank if you want a group to rank up past it. For example, if I wanted for VIP to rank up to like VIP plus, um, at that point I'd do something like this, uh, where I backspace a bunch VIP. Um, so you'd want to put the VIP group first, and then to so this is basically how to add a rank. Uh, add the VIP, and then you want to put requirements. It must be this exact spacing. And then four spaces time and so I'm adding time because I actually want to have a time I want it to rank up players to VIP plus after being active and online on the server for at least 15 days total I want to add a world so if I had a world named survival on the server which I don't but if I did have a world named survival, I'd want them to rank up in the survival server. Um, if I could spell, that would be a plus. So right now, VIP is set up to rank up to VIP plus if they've been active for 15 days straight and they're in the world survival. Now we're going to add a few more things. We want it to have, so the specific game mode, uh, say that we had a creative world and since we want people to only rank up in survival, we'd want them to be in game mode zero, which is survival. So we're going to go ahead and set that to zero. That means a player will have to be on the server 15 days in the survival world and will have to be in, in regular survival mode in order to rank up. We're going to keep adding on to this because we want to get a little creative with this group. We want it to require players to kill and let's do how about we do something special such as I have to kill 50 creepers that's that's kind of hard not really we're also going to set up a secondary one um, as you can see I'm sort of using this as a guideline 
Um, but of course, if you actually go down here uh, towards the bottom in the config, it explains every single type of variable setting you can use. So for example, um, why don't we go ahead and copy and paste this. We want it so that whenever a player breaks, let's go ahead and add that. Brought blocks broken. Ooh. Ooh. Hold on. Value. And we want them to have to break 10 blocks. I don't know. One is a dirt block. And we want them to have to break 500 dirt blocks. Let's go with 5,000 because we got to go hardcore parkour. And we're going to go ahead and look at the other things now that we could do. We could do factions power, cool thing. Global time. If you wanted to do how many blocks someone has to move. So let's go ahead and do that too. We want it so that whenever a player joins the server, in order to get into VI plus, VIP plus, they must move a total of 1,000 blocks. That, that seems pretty low. I understand this is the default, so let's go ahead and increase that 10,000. So right now, this whole file, this whole VIP group, will require that a player be on for 15 days in survival game mode on the survival world. Well, they will have had to have killed 50 creepers they will have had to have destroyed 5,000 dirt blocks and they will have to have moved 10,000 blocks out of the spawn. Now, I, I'd say that's pretty good. We can go ahead and add on to that later if we're really feeling up to it. We're going to go ahead and add the results. So this is the results section basically determines how a player will rank up. So we're going to go ahead and put rank change. And we're going to want it to move players from group VIP to group VIP plus. We're going to want it to run the command. And for this example, we can just go ahead and copy this. Uh, not really a big deal. You can run multiple commands. So in this case, it would do say at player has just been promoted to VIP. We're going to change that to VIP plus. This would give a player one hundred dirt blocks for some reason and it would tell the player that they have earned oh th one is stone so i've had it wrong this whole time it's okay it's okay because stone is pretty close not really so we're going to have it set up so it goes ahead and messages a player congrats you are now vip plus and we're going to go ahead and change this. I want it to give two, um, let's go something wild, like 200. And we could also have it do give MP, I don't know. Uh, let's do something fun here. How about 40, 46 I believe is TNT. Could be completely wrong there. We're going to go ahead and give players 64 TNT when they rank up. And we're going to go ahead and add that in the, mes the message. And 64 TNT. Obviously that's not stone. Let's go ahead and change that back to one just so it's true. So now whenever a player gets into the VIP group and they've met all of these requirements that we've just set up, it will rank up a player from VIP to VIP plus. It will run these three commands. It'll say that they've been promoted. It will give players two different types of items at a certain amount. And it will tell the player what items they've got. They will also get a message saying congrats you are now VIP plus. And the plugin will automatically rank them up in game to the next rank up group. So guys, I hope that sort of explains it. Uh, of course, you can add more of these. Uh, as you can see, these aren't exactly um, formatted properly. So uh, let's just go ahead and show this because I do want to make sure you guys have that right. Uh, so what you do is copy and paste the one you want to add. So we could do like, let's just do these two right here. And to format it properly, you want to do that. 
go over four spaces, type value, and then space. And really from there, it's just a matter of reading and making sure you're adding the proper things. So in this case, say we wanted players to be in the World Guard region survival. While in the world survival, while in the survival game mode, and we're going to go ahead and make it so they have to have at least 50 votes on the server. Something pretty insane. Um, so yeah, that, that's pretty much it. Now VIP group will, require, will be required to be on the server for 15 days on the survival world, in the survival region, in survival game mode. They'll have to have killed 50 creepers, destroyed 5,000 stone blocks, They'll have to have moved at least 10,000 blocks, and they'll have to have voted at least 50 times in order to get in the VIP Plus group. Uh, obviously, you can do this for anything. You can do this for prison. You can literally set up groups A through Z, and you can set it up so that it requires a certain amount of XP, a certain amount of money, a certain amount of time on the server, and so much more. So guys, I hope this helped you out. If you have any specific questions about auto rank, Please let me know and I will assist you in the comment section below. I do reply to almost every comment that I get, or at least I try to. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. If it helped you out and taught you something, leave a like and as always have a wonderful day.